Hi everyone, this is Tamu. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cybersecurity advice. Uh, today, I want to talk about a very important topic, which is like passive income in cybersecurity. And this may seem like a divergent topic. This is not something I usually talk about, but it, it is important for a few reasons because I've been getting a lot of uh, talk. I've been talking to a lot of people and people have been contacting me about this. So I thought it, it might be a good topic to talk about and just give some general advice uh, based on my own experiences. So that, that's the topic which is uh, for this week, which is passive income and cybersecurity. Why am I talking about this? Uh, well, I think everybody who reads the news nowadays will be very worried because these are financially very difficult times for everyone. Uh, due to several severe global crises, everybody is feeling the pinch on their wallets, right? So no matter where you're living in the world, you are feeling the problems of inflation and other stuff and having other sources of income is quickly becoming a necessity for most people. Uh, we are very lucky uh, if you're in cyber security, you're very lucky. It's one of the most in-demand professions today. So, I mean, it's not like your profession is in danger of going away, but like anybody else, cyber security pros can do with more money in the bank, right? Along with your regular nine to five job, uh, there are other ways in cyber security knowledge can be monetized and passive income created. I mean, there are already thousands and thousands of articles on the internet given the about how to create passive income. I, I'm not qualified to talk about that much, but I thought it would be useful to create a video focused on passive income and cyber security and based on my own experiences, what I've done. Uh, okay, so let's move ahead. Before we move ahead, guys, please do like, subscribe, share this video, like and subscribe to this channel and comment if you can. This will really help the channel to grow and this video to reach the maximum amount of people. Okay, so before we move ahead, first of all, what is uh, passive income? So simply put, passive income is like money that requires you to do the effort once and then you can continue to reap the benefits over a long period of time. It's different from active income like your job. In your job, you're working, you're exchanging your time for money, right? You're working nine to five on, on the basis of that, you're getting money. With passive income, you do the effort once and then that thing, it becomes like an economic engine. It keeps creating money for you. So even when you're sleeping, that thing will be out there trying to make money for you. So that's one of the great, awesome things about passive income, why it's so popular and why everybody wants to try and create some passive income for themselves. So let's go ahead and look at what we can do for passive income in cybersecurity. Uh, before we move on, guys, one very important disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I'm not qualified to be giving that. These are just tips for passive income, uh, specifically focused on cybersecurity. All of these tips which I'm recommending, I've done it myself. So I'm not like using you as a guinea pig, okay? I've tried myself uh, with varying degrees of success. So first thing I want to give a disclaimer, there is no such thing as truly passive income. Uh, you will always need to put in the initial effort, but once the hard, hard work is done and the passive income stream is generated, then you can continue to earn money while you sleep, okay? Uh, these are not get rich quick ideas as most of, most of them are fake on the internet. If you see a video saying you'll get rich in one, like one month, you'll become a millionaire. All of those are fake scams. Please do not waste your time with those. You can get rich easily. If by easy, you means putting in the effort over a period of time, like three, four years or two, three years maybe. And then you can definitely have a lot of passive income generated provided you put in the effort. Okay. And let these streams getting gather momentum. So this is called like the domino effect or like the snowball effect. So it's slowly, 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 these streams will gather income and they'll start working for you. Put in the hard work now and this snowball effect or this compounding effect you will see after a while and you believe me after a year and a half or two years you'll be very grateful that you started uh, and the last disclaimer i want to give guys there is no set amount i can tell you okay but if you do this you'll earn this much money because it really differs based on person to person and the amount of effort you're willing to put in there is honestly no ball, ballpark figure i can give you uh, it really depends on your unique skills and circumstances so with those disclaimers aside let us look at what passive income streams you can generate as a cyber security professional uh, what I did was I I thought about a few passive income streams and I then I mentioned what's the starting difficulty, how difficult it is to get started with them and what sort of skills you need. So the first one I want to talk about, which is uh, passive income stream number one is online courses, creating an online course. Online courses are all the rage nowadays. Websites like Udemy, Skillshare, even Gumroad, they make it very easy to create and sell online courses, right? There are loads of cyber security topics available. Cyber security is such a huge topic, whether you are like a auditor, IT auditor, whether you are like, I don't know, a penetration tester, whether you are somebody who's working as like in a SOC, 
all cloud security, artificial intelligence security. I have courses on Udemy and Skillshare, okay, for like artificial intelligence governance and security. So you can just choose a topic which you're comfortable with and you think that has a good high demand. We'll see how to find out that out and you can create a course around it. The effort is very easy. Very little effort is required for your first course. You don't need to create like a 10 hour course for that. The minimum length on Udemy is around 30 minutes and with Skillshare it's just 10 minutes. Okay. So this is the best way to get started in your first step in uh, passive income. Uh, skills needed, honestly, all you need to do to create an online course is PowerPoint and Zoom. That's all you need. PowerPoint for slides, Zoom for recording your session. You don't need like a professional setup, a high powered gear to get started with making online courses. My first course, which I made, I use Zoom and I use PowerPoint. That's it. And that course is still out there, still making me money. So it's, uh, believe me, anybody tells you you need to have like hi-fi equipment or you need like a professional MacBook or something like that. That's all bogus. You don't need those things. You can get started right now. Okay. How do you find out which topic? So uh, the, my advice would be what do you call find topic which you like and you think there's a good demand for it and create an online course like just a 30 minute video uh you can upload it to udb and skillshare what you can do is you can go to this uh, udb create a free instructor account and in there there's a tool called marketplace insights okay uh, i'll link it in the description also if you're not able to find it just go there and put in the topics like th this one example i have i just did five minutes i searched for a few topics and i found like for sap security the student demand is very high. People are looking for it. And the number of courses is very low. And you can really earn around $100 per month. That can be a life-changing amount for some people. So th this is how easy it is, guys. Just choose a topic, create a course, record it, break it down into small lectures and upload the skill, same on Udemy and Skillshare and see how well you do. Realistically speaking, uh, realistically speaking, you don't expect to make like lots of money in your first course, but you will learn so much. You will learn how to do it, how to upload courses, how to create courses how to speak and that will really help you in the future just create and it will really help you in your future courses you will see a lot of improvement happening from course to course so just go ahead right ahead and start making this and you will definitely see the benefits over a period of time okay moving on to the next one which is write a book this is slightly more difficult uh, but book reading books is still as popular as always even with youtube and everything but books and books are one of the great ways to establish yourself as an expert in the industry Okay, people now used to say that the book is the new business card. So instead of people giving business cards, they give out books. And writing a cybersecurity book and publishing it was a big nightmare a few years back, as you had to go to publishers and they would take up all the revenue, all the royalties, right? You would not make that much money. That has changed with Amazon, the Kindle Direct Publishing. You must have heard of KDP. If you haven't, it's basically a, it's a free way. You can create your own book and you can publish it provided you meet their requirements, okay? And you can make some good passive income on the site. I'll show you my example, what I did. So the starting difficulty here is hard. Uh, writing a book is not easy, guys, please. And it, at a minimum, you need to choose your topic. You need to write the book, obviously. You need to proofread, copyright. Otherwise, your book will get published with serious mistakes. That will look really bad. You need to create a good cover, right? A really catchy cover, which people will look at. You need to publish the final book and then you need to market it. So you need to have, or you need to do all of these things, guys. Okay, and the skill you really need to have a passion for writing if you want to be serious about this, right? It requires time and discipline. You need to book us out certain time to work on the day and then really find out, uh, like, uh, write maybe 10 pages per day if you want to really look at it. Okay, if you want to succeed in this. Uh, realistically speaking, guys, so I'll show you my example. I published a book last month and I got it easily published. I wrote the book. I did not do anything on the proofreading, as, on the like cover creation and on the ebook. Because you can go to websites like Fiverr, they will do editing, proofreading, cover creation. You can outsource it to a freelancer on Fiverr, okay? And they can do the work for you and then you can easily save a lot of time and get it published. So definitely, it's, you're seeing my own example here, which I've done it and I've gotten it implemented and this book is out there, it's making me money. I'm not saying I'm got, I've gotten rich from this book, but it is definitely something there out there in the market which really helps you out. Okay, so let's look at number two which is starting a blog and one of the best and easiest ways to create passive income, you want, you can create a blog, a cybersecurity blog and write on it, write 25, 30 articles and which you can later, and you can later get monetized. This blog can get monetized via Google AdSense. Okay. And you can share your ideas within the industry uh, and it will really boost your online presence. Writing at it's the starting difficulty is definitely very easy. Writing a 300, 500 word blog post, 
it's much easier than writing like a 50,000 words book, right? It's much more easier. And a lot, I would recommend starting with a blog first. It'll give you the confidence to write a lighter book. And that's what uh, that's what I did. That's why uh, that's how it helped me. So the skills are also very easy. You can just need writing and you need to maintain a website. I'll talk about this. But usually, like I said, you need uh, 25 to 30 blog posts and then you can apply for Google AdSense. So the effort is low. Just choose a cybersecurity topic and start writing on the same. Uh, install a free extension like Grammarly to make sure your spelling and grammar is not uh, like messed up and then just hit publish. Like I said, you don't need any serious skills. Uh, I would recommend you buy your own domain and create your own WordPress based website. That is really worth it in the long run. It will give you more flexibility. Websites like Volta, which I, which I use, they allow you to deploy Word, cloud based WordPress servers with just one click. And uh, they also give you some free credit. I'll put the link there in the description also, if you want to take a look at it. So I did this and I think it took me like two, three months. I just used to write one article per, per week and I got it monetized. So definitely make the initial investment in a blog and write, start writing one to two articles per week. Don't worry too much about quality. Okay, you know, I know you're not a professional writer, but start writing it. Uh, needless to say, do not copy someone else's work. Do not plagiarize as you will get exposed very quickly and the internet can be very, very unforgiving about such stuff. Please do not do that. Okay, so that was number three. Uh, number four would be starting a YouTube channel. So yeah, this is very interesting. I know you're on YouTube right now and I'm telling you to start a YouTube channel. But uh, so the YouTube channel is one of the best ways, definitely. But uh, it's easy and hard. Starting a YouTube channel is pretty easy and it's free, right? However, if you want to earn passive income from it directly, it requires a lot of effort. Uh, getting it monetized requires a lot of effort and patience. A YouTube channel needs over a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time before it can get monetized. So you need to be very consistent and you need to be patient. You need to put out like regular interesting content, which people will want to watch over a period of time before you start to see the benefits. So what are the skills? Uh, you need to be able to speak, right? And it edit the videos, edit the thumbnails, have patience and patience and consistency. Okay. You don't need to have a professional setup. You can start working with a simple webcam or a phone even. Okay. But just remember YouTube is an extremely competitive space. Okay. But what you can do is if you're smart, you can do one thing. You can start a YouTube channel and I'm not trying to discourage you, but it can, you can, even if you don't get it monetized, it can be a great way to send traffic to your other income sources like your blog and your online courses, right? I started my channel, this one, the cloud security guy in December uh, last year. And currently it's just 256 subscribers. I hope it increases. I haven't gotten it monetized, but I've seen a lot of benefit. What has happened it, it has allowed me to reach a lot of people across the world. So many people have contacted me. My blog traffic has increased. My courses have been looked at. Okay, a lot of benefit has become. So if you do it smart, you can create a content creation engine, right? Your YouTube will go to your direct traffic to your blog. Your blog will link back to your uh, YouTube channel. From your YouTube, you can send people to your Udemy website or your Skillshare courses, okay? And same thing back on your books, you can mention your courses also or your blog or your YouTube channel. So all of these things, guys, they will like work together. Just be honest about it. Provide value to your uh, users, for your customers. And definitely, uh, I can promise you, if you're consistent about this, within a year and a half and two years, you will definitely see a lot of value coming out. This is not a quick get rich quick thing. Okay, it takes the time, it takes the effort. But once it starts, like I mentioned, the snowball effect, it will come into play and you will start, it, it will start incrementally uh, increasing and you'll see that snowball effect increasing. Okay, so I hope this was useful to you guys. Uh, if you found this video useful and if you want me to like expand upon so some of the topics which I talked about, like a course or a book or the blog or the, anything, let me know and I'll create more detailed videos about it. Uh, please do like and subscribe and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.